Girls Tennis, Catherine Draws. Catherine, it was a pleasure having our captain, Catherine, lead our team this year and help make it a fun season for me and the rest of her teammates. Her knowledge of technology and communication skills kept our team updated, outfitted, informed, and on time. She took the initiative and set goals helping the team to come together, practice hard, and have fun. She was always willing to make personal sacrifices for the overall benefit of the team, often taking time to use her experience and empathy to help other players hone their skills and to provide them encouragement. In the semifinals in the state championships last week, she showed great courage as she used her bone-crushing forehand to break the spirit of her weary opponent in the third set tiebreaker. I am certain that her fine tennis skills and overall leadership will do well for her the rest of her life. Her strong character that she ex exemplifies on the court will help her soar like an eagle to great heights in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Draws. Now to recognize the athletes from a sport I personally don't understand, cross country running. Starting with Lily Chase. Lily is in her first year at HHCA. Lily's hardest adjustment from the beautiful weather of Massachusetts was the hot, humid climate of South Carolina. She had to adjust her water intake so she could perform at a high level. Lily made the all-conference team by placing eighth at the regional finals. Words of advice to Lily, eat your pasta. Thank you for your hard work and grit. You made a huge difference on our team this year. I wish we could have had you for four years. Ladies and gentlemen, Lily Chase. Quinn Monahan. This was Quinn's first year running at HHCA. The hardest adjustment for Quinn this year was keeping his shirt on during the runs. He would always find ways to adjust the shirt to help keep him cool and comfortable. Quinn has been a valuable part of our cross country team, routinely placing in our top five at the meets. His humor, his noises when stretching, will be greatly missed next year. Anytime you need a stretch, Quinn, I'll be here. Ladies and gentlemen, Quinn Monahan. Abby Salas. Abby has been running with us the past three years. Abby has made incredible strides in her running over the years. Her leadership and friendship will be missed the most by her teammates. She's always had time to talk with anyone who was in need of a friend. She helped organize runs on the weekend, had helpful suggestions, and always wanted what was best for the team. Abby, I will miss you next year. It will be very quiet without you. On to our varsity cheerleading squad. Our varsity cheerleaders, tonight is your night. A night to celebrate you. Standing on the field now, under the Friday night lights, has memories for you like no other athlete. On this grass, in this stadium, at halftime, has been your team's time to shine. You humbly take the field and cheer on our fighting eagles. You take it all in. Let the memories flood your mind with maybe a few tears but lots of smiles. This is part of your high school journey. You five girls shine all on your own, differently, uniquely, and beautifully. Being part of this team and others from years past has given you the opportunity to grow and flourish and share your shine with others. Libby Crosby. <laughs> Libby, we have had some ups and downs, but through it all you have per persevered. You have always had a positive attitude 
and been encouraging to your teammates. Your gentle spirit does not go unnoticed. Continue to be involved and put yourself in, in, in full in life. Good things will come. Ladies and gentlemen, Libby Crosby. Annabelle Court. Annabelle, where has the time gone? Through the years, you have beautifully balanced theater and cheer. We have loved not having to share you for your senior year. You started quietly with our team, but now you're a captain. We are grateful for your leadership. Your many talents that you humbly share with others will serve you well in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, Annabelle Court. Elizabeth Phillips. Elizabeth, you have always brought a quiet willingness and eagerness to our team. Always positive in your approach to new things, the smile on your face made a difference. Keep it up, Elizabeth. You never know when that smile helps someone. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Phillips. Izzy Hurtado. Izzy, you jumped right in. I honestly didn't think the soccer superstar would have come so far in such a short period of time. Now you're confidently basing a stunt. Thank you for your willingness to learn and making our team complete. Ladies and gentlemen, Izzy Hurtado. Jacqueline Lowry. Jacqueline, you consistently model strength and grace. You are a spitfire that has learned to lead gently. Your strong presence on the sidelines has been an anchor for our team. Thank you for your creativity and your push to do more. We know we can always count on you to say it like it is. Keep that tenacious spirit in, in your journey forward in life. To all you senior girls, your contributions to our team are countless. Your work ethic strong. Your beautiful young ladies inside and out that have made our team better. As you stand here tonight, remember the journey this far and take it all in. Yes, your memories being on the varsity cheer, but also the people and relationships that Friday Night Lights put out in your path. All of you have flourished into accomplished young women and cheer has been a part of that. My prayer for you is based on Psalms 105.4. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Allow God to guide your steps no matter where you are in your journey. We aren't done yet. There's still a few games to cheer. When we do come to a, clo to a close to our season, it will be bittersweet. You've been part of a mighty varsity team, and it has been an honor to be your coach. God's blessings and pe peace to all of you, Coach Eddie and Coach Bazilla. Our swimming team, Addie Lentz. Addie, you've shown your fellow swimmers energy, enthusiasm towards swimming. You truly appreciate the time you spend with your teammates. You have stayed the course and inspired each of your teammates to continue to improve and grow. I appreciate your dedication to the team over the past five years. Thank you for the dedication, hard work, leadership, inspiration, and example you've shown in the pool as well as in meets and practices. Your talents, personalities, and unique character will all be missed in the coming seasons. Thank you again for everything that you have given to HHCA to show the glory of God through your love of swimming. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18 says, always be joyful, pray continually, and give thanks whatever happens. This is what God wants for you in Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, Addie Lentz. Elizabeth Phillips. Elizabeth, 
Even though it has only been two years on HHCA's swim team, you have shown a true com commitment to swimming. Thank you for your hard work and your enthusiasm. You are a true competitor by giving her all in the sport. I offer up Ephesians 6.13 to you, Elizabeth. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Phillips. Girls golf. To our senior girls golf team, thank you for providing one of the brightest spots in my day at each practice and match. Thank you for the, cont the contagious laughter and entertainment. Even if not all of the golfers on the range may have felt the same way. Thank you for the lasting memories and scars from days between the ropes on the range. Chipping sessions that required shin guards. Road trips from which my ears are still trying to recover. I blame my poor singing and Sadie. Both of you have contributed to the expansion of our team and set strong examples of leadership and determination for your siblings. And for that, I know your parents are immensely grateful. All of us will miss you on the court, but more importantly, we'll miss Emma's ideas and Bella's execution and the near miss of Coach Spangler getting wet. I want to take a few moments to thank each of you. Isabella Songer. Isabella, what a pleasure it has been to have you as part of our team these past two years. As I prepared to write this letter, much like your preparation for each golf swing, I did a few good squats. But, as Mr. Abbott can attest, at my age, those still never fully prepare you for what is to come. Whatever it was accelerating through puddles in, the, in our canoe, no wait, that was a golf cart at the state tournament or the glares I received after receiving good and bad shots, or the encouragement you provided teammates, opponents, and other coaches. You have an aptitude for relieving anxiety and bringing about enjoyment for all. I will miss the waves from the neighboring fairway and from across the court, the course, the sincere enjoyment found in the success you found in others, and the celebratory birthday cupcakes. But most of all, I will miss the determination to perform at your level of expectation. Golf is a frustrating game, but the lessons of perseverance that you internalize will continue to do great things in your life. Bella, your gifts are numerous and destined to be shared with many around you. Thank you for including all of us along the way. Isabella Songer. Emma Knight. Emma, thank you for the last four years. Your efforts to improve my future parenting skills, the boost you provided to our team GPA, and your dedication and commitment to all members of our team. You are the second longest tenured golfer that I have coached owner of the second best Eagle head cover name, Barker Rollins, Shelby's Wham Bam will never be beat, and only golfer to walk 36 holes with a possible broken foot. Tenacity and drive are only a small part of your contributions. You have been at the center of friendships, built a culture of enjoyment around the golf program. Your leadership skills and ability to go from focus to giggles and back to focus have always made practice and matches easier for your teammates. I am always proud of your golfing accomplishments, but your development as a leader and friend to all are things that I will never take for granted. Golf is a game, a conduit to build friendships and impact others. You have maintained this team by bringing friends out to play and expanding our golf family. We will always look forward to your visits and potential babysitting in the future. As we are reminded in Psalm 37, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. 
Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. God has laid out amazing futures for both of you. I am forever grateful for the opportunity to partake in an act of your life's play. Thank you for bestowing me the honor of your time and title as coach. I look forward to hearing of your successes on and off the golf course that God has in store for you. I hope the memories that we share bring you joy and ease in pursuit of this success. Thank you both, Coach Collins. Ladies and gentlemen, one last great round of applause for our senior fall athletes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.